Good morning, everybody. It is July twelfth, uh, Monday here, beginning of the week, and uh, today we're going to discuss uh, uh, last week's performance for Bitcoin and some major news that I think uh, you should be um, paying attention to at the moment, especially with major banks jumping into Bitcoin uh, recently. Um, last week's price action, as you know, not the greatest, um, uh, not the most exciting, I would say. But then again, uh, we've been stuck here for a while, ever since uh, May seventeenth. We're looking at the um, uh, weekly chart here, uh, so we're going to discuss that a bit more bullish news on the market just reading through a lot of these articles today i'm seeing a bit of a more of a uh, bullish sentiment but then again uh we always need to understand what the market's telling us first before we assume anything so uh today we're going to discuss um uh, worry i guess uh, that's how we pronounce it uh the uh, latest uh, major korean bank to announce crypto custody services we're also going to talk about australia again um uh, online broker self wealth to offer crypto trading uh there's also uh, again another article from coin telegraph five important things to watch for bitcoin this week including what you most uh, likely have been hearing about a lot recently which is gbt uh, gptc uh, grayscales uh, uh, unlocking almost forty thousand um uh, uh, bitcoins overall and how is that going to affect the market is going to add more to the selling pressure or is it going to be more neutral or uh, bullish so there's a lot of talks about that um uh, recently Again, green energy focused Bitcoin miner Hive joins North American mining pool in Canada, which is pretty good to see. We saw a lot of the um, uh, overall cr uh, crackdowns on on uh, mining in, in China, and we're seeing that migration happen to the uh, West. So again, something nice to see to see um, the Bitcoin network again to be more uh, self uh, sustainable. And uh, yeah, I think uh, right now everything's under the microscope with with everything and we had almost 65 to 70 percent of that mining uh, power in China. And uh, yeah, just to see that completely uh, being shut down almost I think they were aiming for 90 percent um, uh, shutdown of all mining power in, in China, uh, around 90 percent of that within uh, the last two weeks. So uh, we want to see how the network reacts to that and how uh, you know how sustainable it is overall in general again more news um, uh, from El Salvador El Salvador Bitcoin move will put pressure on network that's according to JP Morgan so again if you're new to the channel um, uh, make sure you subscribe if you're uh, if you've been subscribed overall then make sure you like the video and thank you for watching overall but again we'll uh, get right into it so uh, worry becoming uh, latest major Korean bank to announce crypto custody services an increasing number of leading uh, South Korean banks are establishing joint ventures with minor ownership to enter the crypto custody market while complying with local regulations according to July 11th report um, from the Korean Economic Daily the group's banking unit worry worry financial group has become the latest major south korean financial institutions to announce it will launch digital asset custody service which is it's pretty big to see how those countries are are, are uh, you know uh, gaining more and more exposure to the crypto space and uh, obviously a lot of world powers with, with different interests but again crypto is here to stay in my opinion and uh, those banks understand that as well so regardless of the fact regardless of what's happening in the in the um, in the chart here uh this is pretty big so a bank is partnering with bitcoin based fintech solution firm coinpluck to establish a digital asset custody joint venture dubbed the uh, c custody and uh, cookman uh, uh, the country's largest financial institution had filed for a trademark application for its custody service in March 2020 before establishing Korea Digital Asset Co. in partnership with venture fund Hashed and local blockchain service firm uh, uh, Haishi Labs in, uh, in November. Uh, so it's pretty good to see. Again, Australia, we had something uh, last month, I guess. Uh, they were using uh, um, uh, crypto over all the blockchain technology uh, in terms of, uh, you know, to aid with construction and making sure everything is up to uh, standards you know with the blockchain itself because it's, it's more uh, transparent and this like just basically like a ledger right so you can't really manipulate the, the information you can't manipulate the data enter it and just offers more and more uh, quality control and assurance overall right so there's a lot of use cases it's not just the currency uh, bitcoin i guess now it's it's acting um I like it or that's what people um well that's what the market is polarized at the moment but again the real use case of cryptocurrencies is definitely something that the world needs in my opinion the efficiency is profitable and again makes things easier and uh, overall you know the monetary system has been there for a while and obviously there's some sort of upgrades and uh, more efficient ways to transfer money and settle money uh, globally uh, so again a lot of use cases in the monetary system for crypto but 
overall um i even come from the construction business as well i did engineering overall and we um we 100 percent understand the, the the importance of having something being tracked and automated and trustless and how that can actually affect the um quality of the overall product or whatever um uh, things we're building so again uh, very good for the space overall. So again, Australian online broker Self Wealth to offer crypto trading. Uh, Self Wealth move into crypto investment falls in line with the company's effort to shift from a pure share trading platform to a wealth creation uh, platform. Uh, we're seeing on Monday, Self Wealth officially announced the, uh, that the company will partner with an established and secure cryptocurrency exchange to offer crypto trading on its platform. This is off the back of research we've, uh, we've done, including answers from many of you. You want to access crypto, but you want it done in a safe and a secure manner. You will be able to trade cryptocurrencies that have been vetted by us first, um, Self uh, Wealth wrote. According to a report by Australian Financial Review, Self Wealth intends to support up to 10 major uh, cryptocurrencies. I'm not sure if Binance is one of those or Qcoin, but again, I didn't really look, fully look into this, um, uh, including uh, Bitcoin, BTC and Ether uh, by the end of the year. So Australia has been steadily emerging as a major crypto friendly jurisdiction as the country's major financial regulator, the Australian Securities and Investment Commission, took a supportive stance on developing the local crypto industry. The authority is now seeking public feedback on crypto asset exchange trade products, stating that it is aware of the growth, uh, growing demand for them in Australian markets. So again, overall, if uh, there wasn't really that much of a demand, then again, banks will uh, uh, overall shut down the, the operation. But uh, again, when your phone is ringing all day uh, in your office in the bank and everyone is uh, uh, wanting to uh, transfer money uh, and uh, overall, uh, you know, invest in crypto or buy Bitcoin or buy Ether, or whatever the case might be, uh, you will have to do it. And uh, otherwise, your clients are going to go somewhere else. And again, more uh, out, uh, outflow of cash is leaving uh, banks if they're not really included in in this so if you're missing the train then um it's definitely you're losing customers so again they're trying to provide there's a lot of uh, security issues fraud scams you know how the um uh, crypto space is uh, again the, the banks need some sort of security because they want um uh, the they don't want their client they don't want to be liable for um any kind of uh, crypto uh, scam or fraud that the clients might be um uh, you know involved in or be a, a victim of so again they're uh, using other custody um uh, uh, companies or corporations overall that will be liable for that while allowing their customers to enter that space you know more securely and uh, uh, risk-free basically so again countdown to uh, countdown to gray skills a uh, big btc unlock five things to watch in bitcoin this week um we're seeing stocks boom as usd hits classic resistance with stocks going upward as usual there seems to be a little uh to be little in terms of friction that would uh could cause problems for the cryptocurrency gains um overall last uh, late uh, late last week one analyst argued that dxy uh, which is the dollar um uh, uh, currency uh, uh relation to other currencies uh, overall so uh that the dxy needed to rise from its current 92.2 to around 94 in order to see major resistance kick in which could boost um uh, bitcoin again we uh, overall you know debatably but bitcoin always had an inverse relation with the dxy if the dollar uh, index goes up bitcoin goes down uh, in, in relation if the uh, dollar uh, index uh, goes down the dxy goes down bitcoin starts to rise again so bitcoin's inverse correlation to dxy has also been placed under the microscope recently as bitcoin increasingly forges its own path within the macro environment so we're gonna see how that plays out looks like the dxy is reaching some sort of resistance and if as that drops them you know statistically speaking historically uh bitcoin would rise again but then again we saw some days where the dxy actually dropped while bitcoin also dropped so again bitcoin's reacting to global markets and uh, to global currencies and uh, we it's still fresh it's still new so anything can happen really uh so bitcoin price doing all the right things uh looking at the spot market traders are bullish at the prospect of thirty-three thousand returning and enduring after a brief bearish episode last week. So uh, Bitcoin is doing all the right things to reclaim this trend line as a support, reclaim the trend line as a support, and that'll be great progress towards challenging for a breakout from this blue wedge structure, which we've been seeing here, lower highs with lower lows, 
overall just continued downtrend and uh, looks like yeah the 33,000 uh, has been holding for the past uh, couple of weeks here so we want to see as well if that will you know if the market is ready for another um, Bitcoin uh, run to the upside or an uptrend and uh, yeah looks like the support uh, currently is 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 holding but we've seen a break at multiple times uh, but then again we are in an accumulation uh, zone or re distribution zone as as a lot of you uh, uh, guys actually like to call it so uh, fundamental sustain their comeback uh, uh, data from monitoring resources uh, on monday shows that both network difficulty and the hash rate are stabilizing and that therefore the worst of the recent mining turbulence could be firmly over so again a couple months ago uh, we've been having crackdowns in China that affected the market hash rate actually dropped and uh, overall we wanted to see is the Bitcoin network going to sustain itself right so after a uh, record drop earlier in July difficulty was previously on track to beat it, uh, even its latest performance and shed another 28% or more and the intervening period however a recovery has started to take place now the next difficulty adjustment sh uh, should only see a 10 percent drop and should price uh, uh, should price actually remain near current uh, levels so again uh, the changes are a testament to the power of the bitcoin network to balance itself without any external resistance regardless of the circumstances difficulty adjusts to take into account any given eventuality so the estimated hash rate remains only uh, modestly uh, above its recent lows of 83 uh, extra hash per second but even here, st uh, stability and a slow return to the norms are visible. So um, uh, both metrics are expected to make fresh gains as mining power returns to Bitcoin after relocating out of China. We know that we're uh, well versed uh, with what's happening in terms of uh, how miners are migrating to the West after the crackdown in China, the Kazakhstan and the US. And now uh, there's another news story here um, in, in Canada as well. So. The time frame for this is uh, uh, this to happen by contracts. Anyone's guess it might take a long time or it might take a couple months, right? So uh, we want to see how that uh, plays out. Uh, grayscale unlocking 40,000 Bitcoins. So uh, as Cointelegraph explained, the Grayscale Bitcoin fund is due to release in excess of 40,000 Bitcoins in the coming week that got locked, right? The first um, uh, uh, a quarter of the year. And a lot of people, you know, just uh, put their money in and they would lock it for a certain period of time. And this unlocking period is coming to an end. So this having been subject to a six months uh, lockup period opinions differ we know the market is pol uh, polarized uh, opinion differs uh, about the market impact some are concerned that selling pressure um, will increase only to then become uh, practically zero after the unlockings are over while other argues uh, where others argue that the spark markets will be broadly unaffected overall neutral so market polarized, uh, polar, uh, polarized and uh, we want to see how that um, actually affects the market and uh, yeah here uh, another metric I guess uh, for for hopium or whatever you guys um, uh, uh, need for more bullish news in the market but again uh, overall I'll leave this article for you in the description uh, for you to read up on again more uh, this is what I was talking about so green energy uh, focused Bitcoin miner hive joins North American mining pool hive aims to take advantage of the east to west shift and Bitcoin mining power after regulators in China have renewed efforts to crack down on the industry. Following its approval for the Nasdaq uh, listing, Canadian Hive Blockchain Technologies has bought more than 3,000 uh, Bitcoin mining rigs to get involved in the Bitcoin mining shift from the east to the west. And uh, noting the massive migration of uh, mining power from China to the United States and Canada, Hive Executive uh, Chairman Frank Holmes said that the firm's entry into a North American mining pool furthers the company's goal of increased transparency and accountability with, with its partners. And the announcement says that the addition of new miners would add an aggregate hash power of 264 uh, uh, exahacks, uh, petahacks uh, uh, per second, increasing Hive's overall Bitcoin operating hash rate by 46% to approximately 830. So based on the current difficulty in Bitcoin's price, the newly enhanced mining setup would generate an additional 80 thousand dollars in daily income for hive it's based on green energy so let's see that also adds more incentive uh, for uh, for bitcoin mining and again hive is known for its green energy based uh, mining efforts the company has green energy powered data centers uh, facilities in canada sweden and iceland it recently sold its norwegian operation due to a legislative uh, legislative um, challenge so again migration 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 has been happening and um, uh, again El Salvador Bitcoin move will put pressure on the network JP Morgan is saying uh, American mega bank JP Morgan has continued criticizing El Salvador's declaration of Bitcoin as legal tender warning of the potential risk for both the country and cryptocurrency and they're saying that um, so they released a report suggesting that El Salvador adopting Bitcoin as a legal tender could put a strain on the Bitcoin network and again 
what kind of second layer solution we got or what other uh, projects or cryptocurrencies are there that actually have no problem with this right so uh, a lot can be a lot can be done here right it's, it's not really that uh, we can easily use other um, uh, uh, cryptocurrencies example ethereum uh, matic um, uh, for ethereum again as a second layer scaling solution what is there for bitcoin to, 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 to do this right is, is there anything that we can integrate on the bitcoin um, uh, blockchain overall there is but again uh, that's uh, argue uh, arguably uh, um, you know that's uh, that's uh, something that the whole market has been uh, debating overall so we want to see what will happen but they're right obviously going to add uh, some sort of strain on the market but we know how uh, slow bitcoin is it's no surprise they're not really seeing anything out of the ordinary but again there's more and more out there that can easily uh, solve this problem so Daily payment activity in El Salvador would res represent 4% of uh, recent on-chain transaction volume and more than 1% of total uh, digital um, uh, total value of tokens which have been transferred between uh, wallets in the past year. So again, market is polarized. I see a bit more bullish news um, overall. And uh, yeah, right now, uh, Bitcoin is currently at the 33,500. Uh, just one thing to note here quickly in terms of the price action, I don't want to prolong the video. Uh, you'll see here, this is the weekly chart for Bitcoin. See that we've been kind of gaining momentum. But again, when we see something like this, where uh, there's been extreme selling pressure overall, we dropped 55% and the MACD has been pushing upwards while price action remained constant. That's telling that, that there was extreme selling, but but at this level right here, we're seeing accumulation and that selling pressure being absorbed by buyers, institutions, corporations, or whatever the case might be, right? But one thing that was a bit concerning for me is the fact that uh, this right here, so if I take this line, you'll see here that this is this is the week of uh, may 17th we had a couple uh, uh uh so i have one two three four five six seven so seven weeks uh where at this price exactly here the what do we have the uh 34,647 was actually holding as a support buyers are not allowing the price action to actually get below it you're seeing here as well long weeks to the bottom saying um there's some sort of redistribution in terms of uh the bitcoin uh that, that's out there not until uh, last, uh, which is yesterday, as we uh, closing candle actually closed below all these candles before. So, but again, wick to the bottom. We've been seeing wicks along this side. We're hovering around this area for a while. The longer we wait, the more explosive the price action is. So you got to be careful as well. And again, volume is not really that uh, crazy overall right so uh, we want to see how that plays out and looking here at the daily uh, chart as well um rsi uh, again every time we're above the 50 we're in an uptrend every time we're above the 70 uh, level in terms of the um, rsi relative strength index uh, we'll see uh, that we are oversold uh, anything below 30 is over uh, uh, is over uh, sold sorry anything above 70 is overbought and if we're sitting um uh, below the 50 where we're in a downtrend if we're above the 50 we're an uptrend so again you'll see here again with bitcoin as well um every time it bounced off the 50 level indicating that we are in an uptrend and not until it actually broke below the 50 definitively and made sure you know we actually touched that 30 we went back up to that 50 level and ever since we've been in that downtrend one thing to note that we still are in that downtrend this is the longest time that we actually held against the 50 we're really hovering at around the 45 46 levels here for a while now on the daily so again this could be a sign that we are trying to actually push back above and the uptrend could be coming up soon so we just need to see a breakout above this level over here this yellow um, line that's been acting as a resistance for the rsi but i do want to see the rsi at least jump back above the 50 to indicate that we possibly could be in an uptrend here but anyways um, um yeah that's pretty much it for today uh, thank you for watching the video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and uh, uh, make sure you join our discord check out the links in the description below i'll leave all these articles in the description as well and uh, yeah thank you for watching and have a great day